Hey friends. So one of the cool features of Hilla 2.2 was the inclusion of a new form library. So in this video, I want to show you real quick how that works in practice. So let's dive into code and, and see how that works. All right. So I'm here in a Hilla service. I have a person record here with a first name, last name, and email, and I have a couple of sample methods. One method that simulates just getting a person, all it does is it generates a new record here with a fake name. And then we have a save method here that takes in a person, prints that out into our console and returns it. So in our front end code, then we're able to use the new use form hook to build a form. It works like this. So we're going to create a new constant and we're going to destructure out a couple of things. We're going to destructure out model field. Then we're going to also pull out read and submit. And we're going to use the use form hook and it's going to take in two things. So the first thing will be a person model, which is generated. And the second one is an options object. And this options object has one important thing for us to implement, which is the on submit method. And this takes the saved model or person. So we can rename this to person. And this is going to be an async function for that to work. And what we want to do here is we want to take our person service and call save with this person. And for now, we're not going to do anything with the saved person where we just want to see how this whole thing works. All right. So let's start putting together the form here. So we're going to use the model and the fields to do that. I'm going to create a couple of text fields here. So I'm going to have a text field here with a label of first name, and that's going to destructure all the properties from this field that we have. And we're going to use the model to pull out the first name property like this. We're then going to do the same for last name. And we're going to do that for email as well. Then we want to have a button for submitting this. So we're going to create a new button. We're going to say on click, we want to submit. So we're using the submit from use form here to actually submit that. So that's going to trigger this function here. All right. So if we save this, hopefully what we'll see is a form here and what remains to be done here is calling that person service to populate our form so for that we're going to use an effect and we're going to call the person service to find by id let's make up an id and then we're going to pass that into read then we can see the values show up here all right so if i were to make a change here say change john to johnny hit submit what we'll see here in our console is that got saved to the server. Now, another really cool thing about this form support is that it supports validation. So here in my record or my DTO, I can add some validation rules. So let's say that the size of this should be at least three, at most 50. And let's say, let's add one more. So let's say that email should be email. I'm going to build this to let Hilla regenerate the model. And what we should see then is we have this little dot here. If I go out of this, it's going to say that, hey, size needs to be between three and 50. And we could actually add a message here that's slightly more readable maybe. So let's again, go ahead and build this so the model gets updated. And if we change this now, we'll see that message that we just defined here. Now, this is pretty cool because not only does it allow us to uh, do the validation here, but it also allows us to revalidate automatically on save to server. So if I open up my network inspector here and just hit submit, I'll, I'll see that the save method goes to my endpoint and I'm going to be a hacker here. So I'm going to copy this into a fetch call that I can go into the console here and replay. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to mess around with the input here. So let's say that we're going to have a invalid email and we're going to remove the name. So this should now be an invalid record. So let's hit enter here and post that. And let's see what we get. First of all, we can see we get a 400 here. And if we go back to the network inspector, what we'll see happen here is that we get actually an validation error and we see that there's some 
information about what was invalid here. So not only do the validation supply in the UI, but they get revalidated as you say it back to the server. All right, so there you have it. Just a quick run through of the new form functionality in Hilla 2.2. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas for new videos, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.